Sasha Party, co-owner and president of Adirondack Winery. Wow, 2020 has been one crazy year. It has been a year of significant challenges, not just for us, but everybody in the Lake George region. And the way that everyone has come together, our staff, our employees, our customers, uh, other business owners in the community has really just been amazing. Being faced with so much uncertainty really caused us to need to think on our feet quickly and make a lot of changes with really just a hope that they would work out. In the end, we've turned out to be very fortunate and could not be happier with the way that this year has gone, um, considering everything that could have gone wrong. In March of 2020, when we had to shut down our tasting rooms, we pivoted immediately to a fully online business. Our staff worked remotely um, from their living rooms, from their basements, from their bedrooms to make everything happen. We um, started offering a pickup service at all of our locations that was really popular. We came up with some really interesting kits for our wines that kept people busy at home, like our popular mystery box wine tasting kit. We did a bread making comfort kit, um, barbecue kit, some other really fun things um, that kept people close at home and I think that people enjoyed that. The other thing we did is virtual um, events. Whenever we released a new wine, we did a virtual tasting event, um, which a lot of people took part in. We also did some virtual fundraisers for Big Brothers Big Sisters and um, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. So virtual was a really big thing for everybody this year. Hi, I'm Kate with Advocate. We offer web design, graphic design, logos, marketing, branding, PR, social media, and more. Um, when the pandemic hit, many of our clients needed to quickly make changes to their online presence or open up an online store, and we helped them with that. In March and April, we worked with O'Brien's Angels to create a coloring sheet and weekly bingo to bring the community together. Um, together with other community members, I helped establish Greater Glens Falls Mutual Aid. And uh, one of our clients, the Glens Falls Collaborative, found ways to adapt and offer socially distanced events like the uh, Halloween House and the Holiday House contests. Those are just a few uh, samples of the amazing things that our community has done to weather this pandemic. We are stronger together and Advocate is proud to be a part of it. Hi, this is Chris Ristow from the Park Theater and Doc's Restaurant. We washed our hands. Temperature check. And sanitize. Throughout 2020, just like everyone else. Our HVAC system was upgraded to accommodate MERV 13 filtration. No more of these old MERV 8s. We measured and remeasured to make sure we could bring safe and socially distanced dining events to you this fall and winter. Our staff keeps our kitchen immaculate and is proud to bring you fresh and delicious meals both in-house and at home. And while this video may be a little silly, please know that we take your safety seriously. We wish you and your families at home a safe and happy holiday and look forward to seeing you in 2021. So let's talk about um, the area, our customers, what we're doing to keep guests safe both at Fort William Henry and in the Lake George area. The Lake George region and Fort William Henry can be the poster child for the rest of the country on how to keep people safe. At the Fort William Henry we're doing it through UV technology. Right now we go into every guest room. It, it takes about um, 15 minutes to do the UV process and then the room has to sit for 15 minutes. It's added that much onto the cleaning process. So we employed a company called Purple Sun. Uh, we're talking to them they have a, a UV technology that can disinfect in 90 seconds and it's used in, in hospitals now. They came up last week and we're talking to Ryan Moore also about the possibility of making that something that can go in the county and make it affordable for the county because we are keeping people safe and that's the key. As far as our area, we're doing a great job keeping them safe. Hi everybody, it's Tanya from the Lake George Arts Project. Over here you'll see some of the amazing things we were able to accomplish in 2020. In March, when things first shut down, we weren't sure what to expect. We did know we wanted to use that time wisely, though. We focused on four things this past year. Building our audience, working on our infrastructure, making sure we were financially healthy going into our next fiscal year so hopefully 2021 can be bigger and better. 
but also, most importantly, stay mission driven and mission focused. With the community's help, we are going into 2021 financially healthy. We've been able to revise and revamp programs as well as create new programs for artists. We did a lot of work to our website and our social media audience has grown by 10%. We're really proud of the work that we did in 2020 and we definitely couldn't have done it without this amazing community. So thank you so much. During a humanitarian crisis of global proportions, with hundreds of thousands of lives disrupted, Lake George Escape's team rose above the challenges and worked as a cohesive and productive group, creating a safe environment for both team and guests. We learned much along the way. Our success falls on regulations from local and state government, our leadership, and of course, our team. The teammates of Lake George Escape demonstrated clear, effective, and innovative ways to meet this challenge head on. The silver lining is when our team was put to the test, they exceeded our expectations. Rhonda Sullivan. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing and one of the managers here at Lake George Lanes and Games in the Village of Lake George. And I wanted to show you what we're doing to keep everybody safe um, while we can still provide some fun for all of our customers. So right now we're standing at one of the lanes and you can see that we have put up um, poly between our lanes. So we are operating at 50% capacity for our lanes. We do have 24 lanes, 12 pairs. And what we do is make sure that we're maxing out at only 12 pairs of lanes at any given time. So that does keep us within our 50%, keeps everybody safe. Um, we have put different sized bowling balls at each of our pairs of lanes. So these range from our six pound balls for the little kids to our um, 15 pound balls for some of our other ones. It keeps people from having to go back and forth within the facility to try to find a ball that does not fit them. If they cannot find one at their lane, they are instructed to let us know when they get here and we do help them find another one um, that has been sanitized. So at each lane, we also have a hand sanitizer our guests will be able to sanitize their hands before they even get to their lanes as we have them at our um, cash register right before they walk down to the lanes. But then we have them here and we do ask them to sanitize their hands before touching any of the bowling balls. Hello and welcome to Lake George. I am Kathy Miller, the owner of Love is in New York. We create unique Adirondack Lake George and Saratoga themed gifts. We are a woman owned home based business. We sell at trade shows, to weddings and other events and online. When the events in our area were canceled one by one and the shops were not open, we realized we needed to do something to promote our business. After participating in a couple of COVID-19 marketing strategy webinars, we decided to start making short videos, highlighting a particular product or gift package. They were well received on social media, so we kept on making them. We also found it helpful to advertise under Manix Marketing. We took advantage of the tremendous support that they have offered to our community. Moving forward, we know we need to tweak our marketing approach to be successful in 2021. Greetings from the Sembrick in Bolton Landing. We're a local museum and venue dedicated to classical music and opera, housed in the historic teaching studio of Metropolitan Opera star Marcella Sembrick. In 2020, our lakeside grounds were open throughout the summer for outdoor recreation, but for everyone's safety, we moved our activities online. The 2020 Virtual Visionary Summer Festival and the Thatcher Photos Digital Exhibition were great successes and are still available to view on our website. To raise awareness for the arts community in our region, the Sembrick also launched its online gift shop featuring unique works by local artisans. We look forward to seeing everyone online and at the Sembrick in 2021.
Thanks so much. Hi everyone, it's Erica Kays from the Spa Studio. Uh, it certainly has been a trying year for small businesses, including the spa industry, but one of the ways that we have adapted to the new changes is we relocated our studio to the beautiful Heber Associates building on Quaker Road in Queensbury. Our new location really affords us the ability to operate more safely and be able to more strictly adhere to capacity guidelines and other regulations, um, all while keeping all of our staff, which has been amazing. We've also added an online store to our website, spastudio.arundex.com, which allows our clients to order their skincare and spa products and have them delivered right to their homes, or they can arrange for curbside pickup. So we're making it work. Here's to a better 2021. Happy New Year.